All right, what up, folks? So we're back out again with another video. It's a short video. All right, so I got here a C180 Benz, right? This is 2000, 2007 model. This is a WC203 model, I think. As I said, don't hold me to that, right? But as I said, customer came in with a oil leak. So I asked if I can, you know, diagnose it for them, see what I can do. And basically, I already did this before. So I'm gonna just, you know, show you what I did. So these are the magnetic um, camshaft, right? Um, actuators, let's call it, right? And they have an O-ring behind here and a grommet in front, right? So we're gonna replace the both grommets and both camshaft um, magnet seal, right? So as I said, I won't just pick up the camera to show you how it's done. It's really easy, right? Um, but it takes a little technique to make sure that you don't damage things. But let me just show you what exactly needs to be done, right? So the first thing you gotta do, you don't gotta um, like take off the battery port or nothing like that, right? You just take a screwdriver and you just plant, it's like you just push on the tab. When you push on the tab, it's on both sides, right? You just pull it down and that, it comes off like that, right? You do that to the next side too. Right, you just take it off, slide it right off. See all the oil that's on my hand. They have a uh, O-ring behind here that leaks and it also leaks in this grommet, right? So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just clean up in front here, right? You can use some brakes clean or something like that, but you can't just use a rag and just clean up whatever oil residue is um you know on here try not to damage it because then that means you gotta go and purchase a another magnet and they ain't cheap right um like i said we could use a little brakes clean we could use a little brakes clean just to clean off the excess dirt you know um before we remove the part But if you had like a degreaser or something like that, you can also use that. I got a cardboard on the um the vehicle, so whatever it drops, let it drop on that piece of board. So we're just gonna clean this up. Right. So with that now, this is a quick dry um solution that I'm using. So that's gonna dry real quick. All right, the next thing I wanna do, right? So we got the inlet and the exhaust. I'm just gonna remove this. We're just gonna back this off. This is using a E8, right? We're just gonna take it off. You don't gotta use excess force on this because they can break easily, but we don't need that, you know, kind of headache, right? So as I said, we're just gonna use a E8 external torque Take it off, secure your screws. Let me get a metal tray. Put a metal tray right there. All right, and you guys just gotta be careful not to drop the bolts. All right, I'm gonna take this off. Take this next one off. Put it in the tray. I take them off one by one so they don't like so I don't misplace them or like mix them up, but you can mix them up to be honest. All right, because the orientation will be off. All right, I'm just gonna put that there. All right, what happens is these seals tend to get very hard. And this grommet also like develops a hole. Let me see if I can show you the grommet. Right, this seal here gets hard and this grommet in this hole also tends to leak, right? So we're gonna replace the grommet and the seal. As I said, we're just gonna like cut this grommet out. Right, you don't have to replace it if you don't, if it's not leaking. But matter of fact, I'm not gonna replace it because this grommet is not leaking. If, I'm, if I was seeing like oil running through here, then I'm gonna replace this grommet. So I'm just gonna replace the O-ring alone. This O-ring is very hard. Look, you heard exactly how it snap off and it's like, 
it's so boring. It's like, you know. All right, so that's the O-ring. So you're gonna clean up the, the area, right? Wipe off the magnet. If you wanna use like a scotch bright, you can, but it's not that serious. Uh, so I'm gonna clean off this area here. With a little, just put this right here. You can use, um, like if you have a degreaser, you can use that, but I mean, it's not that serious, so you just put a little degreaser on the rag, and you just wipe where the oil was leaking. All right? Clean the area. I'm gonna use a clean rag just now. I'll just clean off the excess oil. All right, let's, let's get a clean rag. So we're gonna make sure we have a clean rag before we Put the new seal here. All right. So I said it's a magnetic camshaft. You can't you can't like mess it up, but just make sure you clean all this off. You know. So the next time it leaks, you know, at least you can see what's going on. So we're gonna clean this off real good. Next, we're gonna get the O-ring. Where are you? Where is it? All right, so this is the new O-ring here, right? This is the new O-ring you see, I'm able to like squeeze it, while this one is, is hard. It's really hard. And this one is good, right? So I'm just going to put a little bit of fresh oil on this O-ring. I'm just going to slip it back into that spigot. They call it this, this this little area right here. Right. Just slip it right there. And I'll say just clean off whatever excess oil. All right. What you can do also is take that same um, brakes clean and with that I can clean up the bolts, the treading. Some people put Loctite on it, but I'm not going to do all that. You don't need all that um, Loctite. If you, if you want, you can, but I'm not going to put no Loctite on this. It's just going to catch that up. Put, put this on. Make sure that it doesn't roll. And you just catch the catch one bolt. Just keep the O-ring flush. Right, so you're going to torque this to 10 newton meters, right? What 10 newton meters is, is basically hand tight, man. You don't got to kill these because it's just some small screws. You just want to make sure that the O-ring is crushed. And that's it. So, let's um, run this up. Run this one up. All right, so with that, so we're gonna take the, the ratchet. As I said, it's 10 newton meters, but if you don't have a torque wrench, you just gotta make sure it's tight without like going too hard on it. If you, what you can do, to make sure that you don't over tighten it, you can use a quarter inch ratchet instead of a three eighths. All right, so you just get a little pull. That should be enough to crush that um, O-ring. All right, so with that now, I'm gonna take some 
electrical spray. And I'm gonna spray into the, the jack of the There's also a quick dry. So we're just gonna shake that off. I just to make sure no oil is in the um is in the contact um of the harness. So we're gonna do the next side now. Which same process. We just remove the three screws. Make sure that it doesn't fall. Right now, I'm gonna take all my cleaning products to this side of the vehicle. Cause uh, right. we're just gonna remove this three screws here. Right then, as I said, you're gonna inspect to make sure that the grommet is intact. Because if it's not, then you gotta replace the grommet also. But it wasn't leaking from between. It wasn't leaking from here, from the center. It was leaking from around the housing. All right, so we just take this off. This could take you like, let's say, like say 15 minutes, once you have everything in, in place. All right, we're just gonna take this off. This too, seal, is very hard. It's like extremely hard. I'm trying to get it off. You actually heard that snap, just to get it off. And it's breaking. It's a seal. The seal is hard. Yeah, so we're gonna replace this seal also. All right, I'm gonna inspect the grommet. If the grommet is intact, I'm not gonna, if it's not leaking, I'm not gonna mess with it, but just clean this up. You can use, as I said, the, the greaser, or you can use a, like a brake clean just to get all that oil from around the housing. All right, let's clean this jack up. So this actually been leaking for a while and it was going to the service bay and basically they told her that, they told the customer that is the, um, the valve cover that is leaking. So, Clearly they didn't, um, you know, do their little homework, but we're gonna rectify this. She got some other leaks that I'm s gotta see about. I'm gonna see if it makes sense to pick up the camera for those, but for now, as I said, this is a um, very easy job. Yeah, so you just put some fresh oil on this um, o-ring, you slip it on like that. And then you get the, get your actuator, all right? You just dry it off, make sure it's not leaking. Where the grommet is, all right? This is the grommet. Normally I just cut that out. Just, it, but when you install it, you make sure that it don't damage from here because the oil is gonna leak from here. So you just like cut that out with a, a blade or something like that and that pops right off. But other than that, I'm not gonna mess with that because it's intact. So I'm gonna slip this on. Again, as I said, you clean the, make sure that your bolt hole is clean and also your, yeah, make sure that your um, treads are clean also on your screws. Just run it up like this by pressing firmly against the actuator. So the O-ring don't move. Just run it back up. And do the next one, that's three. I don't, you don't need no power tools or anything like that because those bolts will, will snap if you um, pull on it too hard. All right? As I said, what you, if you get, what you can do is use a, like a quarter inch um, ratchet. 
that'd be preferred. But if you got the touch, you just, you know, kind of said 10 Newton meters is all you need just to crush the o ring. And that's it. All right, I'm going to use a, kind of said, the um, electrical spray to just clean off this. That um, harness. Make sure it's good. I'm going to plug it back in. Plug it back in. And that's that. That's all to it. You know, so that should stop that leak from, you know, messing up the front of the cover and dropping onto the belt. Yeah. So that's one leak. We got much more to do, but as I said, man, I just decided to pick up the camera to show you how we um, can stop the leak from the front by these camshaft magnets here and yeah that's it so as i said man thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like subscribe button big share comment you know it is until next time. <laughs>